Okay, before we get started into the Photoshop stuff, I want you to make sure that you have a folder set up for uh, this exercise. Um, this is the folder structure I'm using as an example, you know, so like here's all the school stuff I'm working on, here's my intro to graphic design course or whatever the course name is. Um, and so I, I made a Photoshop folder for my Photoshop projects for this course. And I made a new folder called Intro to Photoshop Exercise 1. And you can name your folders anything you want as long as you understand it. However, in this folder, I put in this uh, tropical fish image, which if you're my student, I, I will provide this for you. So put the, the when you, after you download the tropical fish image, make this folder structure or you know a folder structure that you understand so you know where you're at on your computer put that image in the uh, the folder in which you'll be working so I'm going to save this exercise into this folder here okay alright so this is the uh, Photoshop workspace and um, the on the left vertically is a bunch of tools and on the right mostly sorta kinda is what are called palettes very important is this layers palette. Um, so how do we ensure that all that stuff is visible? Here's what you do. And everybody do this to make sure we're on the same page. Click on Window, Workspace, Essentials. Okay, make sure Essentials is checked. Then Window, Layers is checked. So remember, so make sure those two things are, are checked. Essentials, Workspace Essentials and, and Layers. Okie doke. Okay, so enough of that. Let's make a new, uh, let's get something to work on here. So above you have File, Edit, Image, Layer, blah, 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 blah. Um, to make a new document to work on, click on File. Whoops, sorry. File, New. And then over here on the right, um, for choose pixels in the drop down menu here. Okay, make sure you're in pixels, that's important. Type in 3000 for width, 3000 for height, resolution is 144, and make sure you're in pixels per inch. The reason why these came up for me is because I was working on a document this size previous to making this video. All of your um, Parameters will be completely different, so make sure you got 3000, 3000, 144, and you're working in pixels. <clears throat> color mode should be RGB color, which that's something I'm not going to cover uh, for a long time. 8-bit um, is, is good. Okay, so you want that and that. Background contents, choose white. If you hit the drop-down menu, um, yours could have defaulted to something different. Let's, let's use white just to, you know, make life easy here. Make sure all those parameters are, are good, and then click Create. We never work on an untitled document, so we're going to click File, Save As, then navigate to that folder you made. So, you know, I'm in this uh, Photoshop Intro to Photoshop Exercise folder that I made before that I showed you earlier. This is important before you do anything. Format. I want you, we want to save it as a Photoshop document. So format, like see mine defaulted to JPEG. I don't want that. Hit the drop down menu, choose Photoshop, which is right up on the top here. So make sure that format is Photoshop. That being said, we can always change our format anytime, but it's, but it's easier if we just do it now. Okay, so up here, um, let's call this, um, PS intro one, PS for Photoshop intro one, then, then type in your name. Know that I have many, many students every semester. So please follow this naming convention. It, it makes my life a lot easier and I won't lose your file. Okay, um, so that is the naming convention I want. Make sure it's a PSD as Photoshop document and click save. And you're saving it in the known location. Life is good. Okay, so this is our beautiful canvas. Uh, we're going to do two more things and then go to the next video. 
So, first of all, um, if we look over here on the right in our layers palette, you'll see a, a thing came up that says background, and there's a little lock on it. Um, this restricts what we can do. So, just to again make life easy, if we click on this little lock icon, it, it unlocks the layer and we can do stuff to it. Okay. Um, Let's see, what's the other thing I want to do here? Oh, uh, okay, so remember, uh, oh, okay. I want to make sure the V up here on the top and left are rulers. If you click on the word view, make sure rulers is checked. Okay, so rulers has to be checked. Uh, snap is nice too. Okay, rulers and snap, it does, the snap's not that critical, but make sure rulers is checked. So if you look up yonder, um, you'll see that it starts at the edge, left edge starts at zero. Uh, it's a little teeny tiny, but you can see it, and it goes all the way to 3,000, okay? Um, so it's 3,000 by 3,000. So I, what I want to do is divide this up into some sections, and this is important. Uh, do, do this because it's not only part of the evaluation, it'll make the exercise go easier. So what you want to do is just with the mouse, uh, just hover over the left ruler and you'll see a black arrow. Click, hold, and you can drag a, um, a guide, okay, over. And what I want you to do is go into the 1500. And it'll, if you have it on snap, it'll like snap right into the middle there, okay? So put a, a guide that's going straight down the middle, vertically. Okay, that's all with the vertical I want. Hover over the top ruler, and what I'm going to do is make uh, one guide at 1,000 and then another guide at 2,000. So hover over the top, <clears throat> you'll see the black arrow, click hold and drag, and look carefully on the left, and come down to the 1,000. So that's 900 there, there's 1,000. It won't snap, but just get it close. Okay, so that's cool. Going to do that again, come all the way down to the 2000 mark, which is down there. Okay, click, hold, drag, pull down a guide to 2000, and just, you know, get as close as you can. So that's very cool. So you should have, like, what, one, two, six, six little sections here that we're going to do stuff in. Save your file. Now you can do one of two things. You can go File, Save, which is great, that's wonderful. Or you can get used to using the keyboard commands, which I recommend. Uh, on the Mac, it's Command S. On the PC, it's Control S. Okay, so Command or Control S to save. Oh, and this will this will come up first. Um, for now, just trust <laughs> trust Photoshop, trust uh, trust Adobe. Um, I, I leave this. You could check this. Don't show again. I. I wouldn't. Uh, just just click OK. So now if I go back to my, um, you don't have to do this, but I just want to show you. So here in my Intro to Photoshop X1 folder, here this is the the PSD file in which I'll be working on, and here's my little fishy that I'll be using in this exercise. So uh, that is cool. This is saved. Um, make sure this is saved. Do a Command Control S or File Save. And then I will see you in the next video.